from the flight deck to your TV set. You're watching Five Minutes with Her. From the flight deck to your TV set, you're watching Five Minutes with Herb. I'm your host, Herb Jackson, and my goal here today is to make this the best five minutes of your day. So I ask that you sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome aboard. Today, we're very fortunate to have uh, on board my wonderful guest, Honoré. Honoré is an R&B and pop music uh, sensation based out of Los Angeles. He has toured worldwide, um, including actually opening up for the uh, Pussycat Dolls in Manila. He has a very positive vibe. I'm pretty sure you're going to love him. So without further ado, once again, welcome aboard a friend of the show, Honoré. So Honoré, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? What it is, Herb, man. Thank you so much for having me today, bro. I'm so glad, so glad you're here. As I was mentioning, it's always nice to have a friend of the show to uh, talk to, so I'm, I'm glad to have you. Can you give the folks a little background about how you became interested in music? Okay. Well, hello, world, everybody out there in, in the universe. Uh, my name is Honoré. I'm a pop R&B singer, songwriter, producer. Um, how I got interested in music, you know, I... It's just something that was within my household. Music was always playing. I found the knack to songwrite, you know, because uh, I wasn't a very much talker. I was very shy. So songwriting turned into uh, helping me get into the business as far as like, you know, getting the music out there. People brought me into the studio as a young kid and I was always questioning, okay, what does this do and how does this work? And, um, you know, my attitude, my attitude helped out a lot as far as just wanting to learn uh, the whole art of, of songwriting and the music business. So from there, several projects, a couple of boy bands, and then it, it transformed into doing the solo, which is a huge step uh, for me confidence wise, like I really wanted to do this. And then, um, so here I am as a, a producer, songwriter, doing a lot of projects lately. And uh, you do wonderful, wonderful work. Um, I happen to know um, that you are, and have been inspired by Prince. And so could you kind of tell the folks out there how Prince um, kind of gave you a little inspiration to uh, help you with uh, music? Yes, I, I gotta thank my older sisters for that because they would play this guy's music and, and um, you know, posters on the wall, like, okay, don't touch that poster and stuff. But yeah, he was an influence for me because I, I, I identify with this guy. I didn't, you know, I have sisters and I didn't have a brother but the stuff that he was talking about uh, through his music, he taught me so much about music. He also taught me about, you know, ownership of your, uh, of the business that is. And then he also taught me about those fine women that he was with because he always had to find somebody on his, you know? So uh, he was a huge influence to me. He will always be, I miss him dearly. He is my greatest musical influence forever and forever. And I try my best to continue to do stuff that he would want me to do, you know, as far as like, you know, making sure your business is squared away, being professional, uh, being the first one in and the last one to leave when you when all your business endeavors and taking control of your music. So, yeah, I, I will love him forever. And speaking of um, new projects, you know, like I say, I, I'm mutual friends, blah, blah, blah. Um, I did see yesterday you were working on something um with another artist and i noticed you spit a few beats kind of like a little bit of rap can you uh, tell us a bit <laughs> about that yeah i mean with the whole um thing with me you know i'm an r&b singer i mean first and foremost that's my love but in in the middle of all this you know i do tend to rap i got a couple of bars that i can spit you know and i think that came out as when i was producing some of these these tracks I couldn't afford an artist a rap artist so i'm like you know i gotta get this going you know and so i just started to um just to kind of flow and it, you know I think it's just music you know I'm a very vibe energy uh person so whatever what I felt right for that um I just went with it and uh now yeah so I'm, I'm also known as a rapper as well I mean primarily R&B singer but man these days you got to be a jack of all trades you got to diversify yourself you got to show the world that you're value you know and I do my very best in everything I do the rapper known as Honoré yeah, well, that honor reason. <laughs> I throw that honor reason on there. It's own. Love it. I love it. <laughs> what you got uh, brewing up in the future? Here? You know, you know, live concerts and stuff like that have all been kind of put on the wayside. But uh, can you let us know about stuff you have planned for the future? Yes, I mean, uh, 2020 has been challenging for the world. Um, 
But um, earlier this year, uh, July 4th, I released another single called Get Up. And that's featuring my bro, DJ Milk D. It's a song called Get Up. It's a very energetic, uh, vibey, fun, positive song. And what we did was, usually when you have a single, you're gonna have a, a music video attached to that to promote it. But, you know, we couldn't do that. Everybody's in their houses. And so I thought of the idea is like, you know, let me get the fans over, all over the world to send in their clips. And then, so when you see the video, you're gonna see different clips of everybody from different places of the world. And we had our get up t-shirts, it was the bomb, bro. And, and to get so many submissions and so much love from people from, from the UK to, to Africa, to, to here in the US, all over races, all races, places from different parts of the world, young, old, black, white, brown, green, it was, it was amazing. So uh, we released that, so that, that video is out there. So it's just one of those things continue to put out good, positive uh, energy vibes to people. Cause a lot of people we're, we're stressing, you know, we don't know when things are gonna open up and wearing masks. Uh, people are, you know, unfortunately losing their lives. So it's serious. So I just felt like me as an artist to use my platform to continue to put out good, good things, good vibes um, to help a little bit. You know, if I can make you dance a little bit or smile a little bit, I feel like, you know, that's my responsibility. Uh, you know, two things. One, the video was awesome. I was able to view it. Um, I think that idea was was beautiful. Like you say, people from all over um, just, you know, dancing and stuff as they're listening to your song and you, and you wove that into the video. I thought that was an excellent idea. And two, of course, you know, that's why we love you. The positive vibe. Thanks once again for joining us. And it was or it is Honoré Music on all these social platforms. Yeah, so if you go to my YouTube channel, it's Honore, so H-O-N-O-R-E, music, M-U-Z-I-C. So that's my YouTube channel. You'll okay. find all of my music there. When you go to social media, uh, the platforms for the streaming, go to Spotify, just punch in Honore, H-O-N-O-R-E. Okay. You'll find me there. Follow me. Put me on your playlist because it's important for the people to really get behind artists such as myself and, and other artists so we, they, we can stay alive. You know, We can eat yeah. and continue to create good content over time to uh, do what we need to do. Well, my man, I, I really appreciate you. I, before we let my man go, we got to get him in to the lightning round. So are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's get the timer and boom, here we go. Oop. Start. Okay, better basketball dynasty, the 80s Lakers or the 20 teens Golden State Warriors? Ooh, I'm going to say the Lakers. Lakers, okay. Better music, 90s R&B or 70s funk? Oh, you already know 90s. I got to go with the 90s. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Would you rather record in the studio or perform live? Ooh, um, live. Because, but at that time, I had already recorded that song, and now I can give it out to the world and perform it live. Nice, nice. Okay, last one. Uh, we'll sneak this one in here. Better Prince creation, Vanity Six or The Time? Ooh, I'm going to go with, I love Vanity, you know, I'm about to, you know, but I'm going to go with The Time because I, you got to roll with the bird, you know. And oh, I'll, man, exactly. <laughs> There you go. All right. Once again, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And folks, as we mentioned, check it out. Honoré Music, um, all across all the platforms. I really appreciate all of you tuning in today. Once again, five minutes from Herb. Thanks again. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.